Hello and welcome back to another episode of Video Game Details, the series where we take a look at some of the cooler things you may not have noticed in your favourite games. In today's episode, we catch a peeping Tom in the Destroy All Humans remake, we get confused for a taxi driver in Sleeping Dogs, and we fall asleep at the wheel in SnowRunner. As always, if you think you know of a video game detail that I'm yet to cover, then the best place to let me know is in the comment section or on my social media accounts, the links to which are in the description. Before we get started today, I would like to thank the sponsor of today's video, Opera GX. Opera GX is a web browser specifically designed for gamers, even going as far as allowing you to choose how much RAM or CPU Opera GX is using whilst you game, which is a really nice touch. You can also customize the entire look of your Opera GX experience, ranging from colors to wallpapers, meaning you can have the browser looking exactly the way that you want. Opera GX also allows you to stay connected to friends with native WhatsApp, Facebook Messenger and Discord integration, which means no more alt tabbing between programs. Speaking of Discord, Opera GX has its own Discord server where you can find giveaways and competitions, so make sure you check that out too. I'll leave a link to it in the description. One of my favourite features in Opera GX though is the GX Corner. It's a place that gives you the latest gaming news, tells you about any free games that may be available and also keeps you up to date with new and upcoming games. In the fast moving world of gaming, the GX Corner is a lifesaver. Opera GX is a free download, so why not check the link in the description and try it for yourself? You really have nothing to lose. Oh, and if you happen to be watching on mobile, if you click the link in the description and enter your email, Opera GX will send you an email with a download link to use when you're back at your PC, so you don't forget. Once again, a huge thank you to Opera GX for sponsoring today's video and supporting this channel, and let's get started. So first up, let's take a look at the surprisingly good Destroy All Humans. I've mentioned before how I love Destroy All Humans because it ditches a lot of the bad things about modern games and lets you just have fun. Well, not only is Destroy All Humans fun to play, it also has a great sense of humour. Take this first detail for example. In Destroy All Humans, you can harvest the brains of humans for furon DNA, which will allow you to level up your weapons and abilities. Well, this is what the brain of a regular human looks like. Ah, my head! My ah. So it's a pretty normal looking brain. Well, apart from the fact it's glowing green, but ignore that for now. Well, if you try to extract a politician's brain, it will look like this. So a politician's brain is noticeably smaller than a regular person's brain. I mean, I don't know about you, but I can think of quite a few politicians who would probably be proud of a brain this size. So I really hope the next detail needs no explaining, and if it does, show this video to your parents and ask them. At the Rockwell location, you can find this. So as I said, these cars with steamed up windows and handprints on the inside need no explanation. It can even be argued that the handprints on the steamy windows could be a reference to Titanic, but this is a detail video, not an easter egg video. What's funnier is, if you head to the same location at night, you can find a concerned citizen making sure everyone inside the car is okay. So recently I've come to realise that I call a lot of games underrated, but this game definitely is. Sleeping Dogs was released at the back end of the 7th generation of consoles, and was an excellent open world game set in Hong Kong. It starred undercover cop Wei Shen, who had to walk the line between criminal and cop very carefully. The perfect example of this is how Wei Shen borrows vehicles from civilians. When dressed in casual clothes, he does this. So, seemingly forgetting his day job, Wei throws people out of their cars before speeding off. Well, if you equip the unlockable police outfit, he will do this instead. Hong Kong police! <laughs> 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 
So whilst wearing his uniform, Wei is a lot nicer about the whole situation. Another really cool detail I noticed in Sleeping Dogs can be seen when Wei is driving a taxi. Do I look like a cab driver to you? I mean, Wei seems to be angry that people think he's a cab driver, but he's driving a taxi with its light on. What does he expect? Speaking of open world games that I've called underrated, it was when recording Easter eggs for my Watch Dogs 2 Easter egg video that I noticed this. So if any of you happen to drive, I'm sure you've seen similar scenes in car parks near you. Be it somebody parked in a disabled space when they shouldn't be, or my personal pet peeve, people taking up two spaces. I thought it was a nice touch from Ubisoft to show that not all cars are parked how they should be. So regular viewers of this series may remember the really cool detail from Bioshock 1, where the price of food was higher at the theater than it was anywhere else. This is of course the case in real life, as buying anything at the cinema or or theatre requires you to take a loan out first. Well, sticking with the theme of price, when looking to purchase the upgrade to the Devil's Kiss Vigor in Bioshock Infinite, the price may seem more than a coincidence. So the upgrade costs $666. With the Vigor being called Devil's Kiss and the number 666 being associated with the Devil, this is definitely no coincidence. So the LEGO games are a personal favourite of mine. I own almost all of them and have spent way longer than I'd like to admit in their blocky worlds. For games that, on the surface at least, look like they were made for children, the LEGO games do have some pretty cool moments of attention to detail. Take this clip from LEGO Marvel Superheroes, for example. When approaching Leda as Hulk, Leda will say this. <laughs> Rageless, babbling beast! Now I am finally free to destroy you! Leader's enemy! Hulk smash, big head! Well, if you decide to change to Bruce Banner, Leader will instead say this. <laughs> Bruce Banner? Where's your pathetic green friend? Coming out to play? Oh, he does not want to see me angry. Listen, I know this isn't a groundbreaking detail by any means, but it's something I didn't expect to see in a LEGO game. So Devil May Cry 5 was actually the first Devil May Cry game I ever played. And I enjoyed it so much that I went back and played the first three games too. The detail from DMC5 is really cool, as it involves the way Nero enters a cutscene. So here is how Nero enters the cutscene if you are walking at the time. So, as you'd expect, he enters the cutscene walking. Well, the really, really cool thing is that this entrance will change depending on the animation you're performing at the point the cutscene triggers. So, for example, here is how Nero enters the cutscene if you are running. Nero is slightly out of breath and enters the scene at a faster pace. There's even an animation if you enter the cutscene while jumping. The jumping one is particularly cool as I'm not sure why you'd ever enter this room while jumping. So the final detail for today's video is from the off-roading sim SnowRunner. Releasing this year, SnowRunner has managed to carve out a pretty sizable audience, with both critics and players alike praising the game for its visuals and mechanics. Now, despite being a good game, sometimes life of an off-road trucker can be tiring work. That's why when you leave your truck idle, the driver will do this.
So that's all I have for you today. If you enjoyed this video, then a like is really appreciated. If you are a fan of Easter eggs, secrets, or details in games, then perhaps consider subscribing as that's what this channel is all about. A big thank you to the Bioshock Hub for helping with the Bioshock Infinite detail. The link to his YouTube channel is in the description. And a big thank you to Dan J for recommending the brains detail from Destroy All Humans. As always, thank you all very much for watching and I will speak to you all soon.